गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल बॉयज ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट लर्निंग दिस इज एन इथोलॉजी लेक्चर एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज लर्निंग लर्निंग इज डिफाइंड एज अ रिलेटिवली परमानेंट चेंज इन बिहेवियर as a result of experience so in our daily life we experience something new and try to learn it animals learn from their surroundings and also from their experiences particularly during the growing period there are different types of learning learning is divided into the following types such as habituation imprinting conditioning trial and error learning latent learning and insight we will talk about them one by one first is habituation when a stimulus is repeated frequently with neither reward nor punishment resulting in a gradual decrease in behavioral responsiveness then it is called habituation here the animal learns to ignore insignificant stimuli scarecrows erected to drive away birds in crop fields are effective for a short time soon the birds get habituated to this harmless scare so we have all seen that scarecrows are placed in crop fields to repel birds in order to protect crops but birds get habituated seeing this same exposure daily since it is actually harmless and they learn to ignore this this is called habituation next is imprinting Imprinting is a type of learning in animals immediately after birth to recognize their caregiver for food and protection. Types of imprinting there are three types of imprinting such as filial imprinting sexual imprinting and limbic imprinting. Filial imprinting Filial imprinting is seen between a parent and the newborn. After birth, the newborn follows another animal that it recognizes as its mother. Example: ducks and geese. Sexual imprinting. Sexual imprinting is a type of imprinting where the animal learns the mate preferences at a young age. by observing the parents as role models courtship display such as singing feather display and dancing must be learned during the growing stage by watching the adults example male zebra finches prefer mates with the appearance of the female bird that rears them so this is a cute example Male birds like the back of females and prefer those partners who show their back. Next is limbic imprinting. Any good or bad event experienced in the different stages of birth can leave an impact on the fetus which can affect the psychology of the newborn. Example human beings So psychology of a newborn baby is affected by different events occur during the gestation period. Next is conditioning. When the response is modified by past experience, it is called conditioning. The most famous conditioning experiment is that of Pavlov and his dogs. and we all know this experiment right pavlov presented food to the dogs and measured their salivary response then he began ringing a bell just before presenting food 
At first, the dogs did not salivate until food is presented to them. After a while, the dogs began to salivate when the sound of the bell was heard. Sound of bell became equivalent to the presentation of food. Next is trial and error learning. Through trial and error method, animals learn things of day-to-day -day happenings. They try various alternatives and gradually learn to solve the problem through failure and success. An experiment conducted by Skinner was with pigeons where they learned to press a lever to open the door of a box to get food grains. The experiment was repeated many times. The birds gradually pressed the bar in less and less time interval and finally in no time. Next is latent learning. Latent learning is the association of different stimuli without any immediate reward or punishment. An example of latent learning was provided by Metzger in 1967 who walked with deer mouse. One group of deer mice was placed in an enclosed bee hall containing natural things like plants, hay, twigs, logs, etc. A second group of mice was kept in laboratory cages without any exposure to the natural things. Next, the mice from each group were placed in the enclosed room along with a predatory owl. Metzger observed that only 2 of 20 deer mouse with previous experience of the hall were captured by the owl, while 11 of 20 mice with no prior experience of the natural things were caught. This shows that latent learning helped the experienced deer mouse to avoid the predator owl. Next is insight. Insight is considered as the ability to respond correctly to a situation that is experienced for the first time in life and quite different from any experience encountered previously. An experiment was performed by W. Kohler in 1927 who worked with chimpanzee. Kohler put a chimpanzee in a room where a number of boxes were kept scattered on the ground. He hung few bananas from the ceiling which were too high for the chimpanzee to reach. At first, the chimpanzee tried to reach the bananas by jumping. On failing to reach it, he sat down. After some time, he stood up and stacked the wooden boxes, one above the other, and climbed up to get the bananas. This response appeared after a period of thought and is called insight. These are some different types of learning behaviors of animals. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. If you want to get the PDF notes of this topic, please find the first pinned comment or the description box. Thank you.